Okay, class, uh, I'm Sir Collins, as you all know. You are welcome to perfectscoreyes.com, the only site that gives you free computing and mathematics tuition. Now, remember, you do not have to pay for anything on this site. All you need to do is always leave your comment, your like, also stay up to date with the whatsapp group that is this side okay so you just click on our whatsapp group join the whatsapp group very important also follow us on our uh, facebook on twitter and make sure you subscribe to our channel our youtube channel professorga.com now in this lesson we are looking at how to restore files from the recycle bin but before that in the previous lesson let's go through the previous lesson before we do that in the previous lesson we look at what a recycle bin we said what is a computer's recycle bin and i gave you five definitions even though i didn't record any explanation to the recycle bin so i gave you five so you can see five definitions here sorry six over there now deleted files are not permanently removed from the hard drive but are sent instead to the recycle bin unless they are too large so if you are deleting something from the computer or from the hard drive it goes straight to the recycle bin unless those files are too large okay when they are too large they will ask you the computer will ask you to delete it automatically okay now now the files in the recycle bin can be restored to their original location meaning if you go back to if where you deleted those files from you can be restored back to its original state with no permission or whatever just go there restore it back to the original state okay okay now they cannot be used directly while they are in the recycle bin for instance this is the recycle bin now these files you can't use them for anything unless you restore them you can't play them you can't do them anything you can't do anything with these files unless you do what just restore them back to its original state before you can use it right okay let's continue now so how files are deleted on windows 10 so why are we focusing on windows 10 even though there are other windows we are focusing on windows 10 because it is the latest version of what windows okay that's why you are focusing on you can also use the windows 8 so in this pc or what i'm using i'm using windows 8 so it's similar to windows 10 there's no difference it's similar to windows 10 okay just that the recycle bin in windows 8 is different from that of what windows 10 but they are the same thing there's no difference within the two okay so these are the ways you can delete how files are deleted on windows 10 it's the same way files are deleted on windows what 8 so you just right click the name or icon of the file you want to delete okay so let's take one file from the desktop so for instance we want to delete this file okay four zero blah 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 so we just right click when we right click we just locate delete okay you scroll down locate delete then we just click on it delete it goes away that is it. as simple as that so when you go to the recycle you realize the file you just deleted is found in it the file you just delete there's the file i just deleted it's found in it right okay so let's move on so that is what we just learned through so it says scroll through the pop-up menu so that's what we just did we saw something like this so we just scroll through the pop-up menu right clicking the file after right clicking in the word right clicking the file or folder you want to delete and choose delete uh, blah 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 so let's go let's click on delete to erase or uh, to delete okay so how to hurriedly or quickly what delete file when you say hurry you are in a hurry just click on you are not going through these whole steps as i just did so if you want to quickly delete a file from the computer all you just do is just click on that file like that let's say i want to delete this file i want to delete uh uh one something that i can delete everything is important here so let, okay let me use this one I'll bring it back so this one I want to delete J4 okay so I just highlight the J4 with the left button okay not right please left 
like this left click on left to highlight it then just press the delete key on the keyboard it goes away as simple as that okay so that is it now so here I'm preparing the second version of this note so let's move on to the second version how to restore files and from the recycle bin steps open a recycle bin by double clicking on it icon locate the items you wish to recover select the files or folder for recovery by highlighting their checkbox when I finish I'll do that demonstration for you to see right click and choose restore to recover data to its original location okay now so let me let me go through that uh, so where is the recycle bin? Let's locate the recycle bin. This is it. Right, double click it. So these are the two items we deleted. The two files we deleted. So we highlight the two files. So each checkbox, that's just highlighting it. Okay, when you highlight, you get a checkbox. So then you just right click. Okay, when you right click, you see the restore, cut, delete properties so we want to restore them back to its original state okay so we just click on what <coughs> restore it goes back so let's see whether it is there let's go check this is the first one and this is the second one it's back to its original state okay so uh let's move on now you said uh how to permanently delete files or folders from the recycle bin when files or folders are deleted from the recycle bin, they are no longer found on the computer's hard disk. Okay, so meaning you can't find it again, so be cautious of what you do every time. Now, note that those files or folders which are permanently deleted from the recycle bin are not restorable. When you say storable, you can't bring it back. It takes time to bring it back. Even that's why you need step, 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 and follow up with the steps before you can bring them back. You need third party, you want to call third party applications bring them back now you must always think twice before acting on permanent deletion of files or folders from the recycle bin so think twice you don't need it you don't need it it should go away those files are very important you need to always be careful now so uh now let's now follow the steps below if you want to permanently delete files or folders from the recycle bin now the steps is the same as a video so i'm making a video later you see the steps attached to it okay so let's follow the steps if you want to delete something from the recycle bin permanently now let's go to the recycle bin these are the items in the recycle i don't need them again so i just i like those items like that then take it off delete it i remember this one if you are deleting, you are not going to get it back again. So I'm always careful with that. So I don't need those two. So I just take them down, right? So I'll say delete. And they'll ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete these two items? Ha. Ah. Yes, it goes away. No, it come back. So, okay. So I want to permanently delete it. So I don't need it. So I take yes. Po. It's gone. Now, uh, where is it? Uh, I can't find it too. Uh, where is it? I told you, you need to be warned if you are doing something so you can't have access to it again. It's gone. Whether you like it or not, everything is gone. So, that is how we delete items from the recycle bin permanently. I hope it made sense to you and you like the tutorial and remember you are watching this content from youtube so if you are watching this from youtube make sure you always subscribe to our channel on youtube don't forget subscribe subscribe is very important now before i leave you always come back to check on new items we add let's scroll through our site and see what to see here we have the mega menu is just showing the list of items uh, list of info post we've added then we have the e-learning e-learning is what electronic learning we have just click on the e-learning okay uh, indicate that we are only working on mathematics and computing we don't want to stress ourselves so we have mathematics and computing now remember the two are still under construction we are still working on the two mathematics and computing okay then we have quiz up we are going to add 
some interesting quiz you love the quiz then you have the graces now this one is also ready so you can just move on then we have the entertainment segment we have the PSG TV hub we have the stories hub then we have the movies hub that's our second site so you just go there and you click on it you, it will send it to our second site where you can download free movies there you can also look at technology news and upcoming movies okay this is minions the rise of grow you all know what minions are so you just back to the whole thing then finally join the whatsapp group very important get a rs R, rss feed subscribe to our channel F also follow us on facebook and twitter instagram and also if you have it's better you always subscribe for daily update meaning just input your email address here then for instance i want to receive daily update from this site i just input my email address and click on subscription or subscribe to get me a daily update anytime they post due things or you better still just join the whatsapp group okay so that is it our site that's what you see it's a free online computer mathematics learning hub so if you want to have anything if you want to ask any question just contact us straight away i will get back to you okay okay see you i'm sir collins once again until come away next time god be with you all shout out